All right, welcome back. Got one more kinetic pulley example problem. And in this case, we've got a friction surface. That is the surface between this nine kilogram mass and the, well, the floor or whatever that it's on. And the kinetic coefficient of friction is going to be equal to 0 0.5. So uh, in this problem, what we want to do is we want to figure out what is the acceleration of each block? And also, what is the tension in the blue cable? All right, well, we've only been given the kinetic coefficient of friction, so that's um, a giveaway that this system will be moving, will be accelerating. Also, we've been asked for the acceleration anyways. Um, the acceleration of the nine kilogram block is going to be in this direction, and the acceleration of the 20 kilogram block is going to be in this direction. So we're gonna take those as the positives when we draw the free body diagram for each one for the force balance, um, but you'll see that in a second. Actually, let's, let's do that right now. Let's draw the free body diagram of the nine kilogram block. So we've got it here, nine kilograms. We have tension pulling this way, it's unknown. We have the normal force pushing up, we have weight pushing down, and we have friction going that way. All right, so the weight is just equal to mg, nine kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared gives us 88.29 newtons. Um, that's going to be equal to the normal force. Clearly, it's just sitting on the floor. Uh, so that's also 88.29 newtons. The force of friction is, uh, we can do the calculation up here, is equal to mu kn, which is equal to 0 0.5 times the normal force, which was 88.29 newtons. Um, put that in the calculator and we find out that the friction force is 44.145 newtons pulling back. All right, and we have acceleration. We'll just draw it somewhere on here, going that way. All right, let's do the sum of force equation uh, or the equation of motion, Newton's second law, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have the sum of forces is equal to ma. We're taking this as the positive direction that matches acceleration. So that means we have tension minus friction is equal to ma. We can put in some values for that, or we can actually isolate for t first, because we're gonna drop that out right away. We have uh, tension is equal to friction plus ma. And when we substitute in the values that we know, that is 44.145 newtons plus the mass, which was nine kilograms times that unknown acceleration. All right, let's draw the free body diagram for the 20 kilogram mass. We've got 20 kilograms. So we have its weight pulling down, and the only other force acting on it is tension pulling up. Weight is just equal to mg, 20 kilograms times 9.81. That is 196.2 newtons. And we have acceleration going this way uh, that will take us our positive in the uh, Newton's second law expression, which is sum of force is equal to ma. Okay, so w is in the same direction that we've identified as positive. So we have w minus tension for our sum of forces equals ma. Let's isolate for t again because we want that term to drop out. So t is going to be equal to w minus ma. Let's plug in the values that we know. 196.2 newtons minus 20 kilograms times a. All right, so we have two expressions for t, like the last video, let's set them equal to each other, and then group like terms. Uh, so we're going to have 29 kilograms times a is equal to 152.055 newtons. Uh, let's isolate for a, so we're gonna have that is equal to 152.055 newtons over 29 kilograms. And we're gonna find that acceleration is equal to five 0.24 meters per second squared. All right, let's put a box around that. Uh, and again, that is the magnitude, and we have indicated on each free body diagram the direction that that is going for each mass. Cool, so the last thing that we need to do is just calculate tension, and all we do is we take acceleration that we just calculated and just plug it into either of these expressions for tension. We have one here and we have one here. So let's try the first one first. Tension is going to be equal to nine kilograms times acceleration, which is 5.24 meters per second squared plus 44.145 newtons. 
that gives us a value of 91.3 newtons. And what you should do, it doesn't take very long, is you should check the other expression too to make sure you actually have a value that satisfies both. So let's do that. We have T is equal to 196.2 newtons minus 20 kilograms times A, which was 5.24 newtons, no, uh, meters per second squared, sorry. And that gives us 91.4 newtons. So that's close enough. That's just, uh, that's just a rounding error somewhere in the problem. Uh, so there we go. That is equal to T. Put a nice box around that. Close enough. You'll satisfy your professor with that, I'm pretty sure. So there you go. That was the tension and acceleration in this kinetic pulley problem with a friction surface.